the story about a group of students in the Warwick School District in Lancaster County. For the last two years, Sandy Yoder, who teaches the life skills class at the middle school, has been working to open a coffee shop inside the school. Now, instead of hiring outside help to serve the beverages, Sandy is enlisting her students and is using the shop to prepare them for the real world. Fox 43's Linda Weed has the details. Order number 15. A cup of joe, a morning boost, java or brew. Call it what you want, we love it, and gotta have it. It's a cup of coffee. They mostly order hot chocolate or their regular coffee or cold brew. But the hands and smiling faces serving these cups of joy are not your normal baristas. They are students at Warworth Middle School and are enrolled in Sandy Yoder's life skills class. We do cooking skills in my classroom. We do social skills in my classroom. We teach academics, and this is all functional academics, as in they're applying it to what we're learning in. Here. The newest addition to the curriculum for the middle school students is to fill a role at a special blend coffee shop every Friday morning. The shop has only been open for a few weeks for Warwick teachers and staff. The orders are placed on Friday and are served one week later, giving the students enough time to practice the skills they need to present a perfect drink. Jackson on number 24 hot. Ashley Snyder is a special blend cashier. Her role, to take the order forms and cash and give the customer exact change. This is a skill Ashley says is extremely important for her to know, and she works every day to perfect it. I, I think it in my mind, like what they gave me, and then I try to make sure I make the right change before I give it. We basically look at their skills and see where we think they'll fit. Of course, Ashley, Ashley is very good with money, so we, she has taken on that role and has just blossomed. Sandy Yoder is the brains behind this operation, coming up with the idea two years ago to open the Life Skills Coffee Shop. She says the students in her class are learning working world skills that will benefit them in the future. How to be young adults and productive young adults. And most importantly, independent. We get dressed and we get our apron hats on and then, and then we wash our hands and stuff and then we come here and then get ready for the customer come. And come they do. Ms. Yoder even had to put a cap on the number of orders they can take and realistically fill. That's about 40 orders a week. The boys and girls are working hard both in and out of this classroom to serve something special, and their determination and hard work shows. What do you do when you go home, Jenny? I go to sleep. You go to sleep? You need some coffee, Jenny. <laughs> I think you're in the right place. The right place, a learning place, a special place. A place for coffee and a place for the future. In Warwick, Lancaster County. Good, thank you. And how are you doing today? Linda Weed, Fox 43 News. What a great story. Now, Mrs. Yoder hopes that next year she'll be able to expand the coffee shop by combining it with a bakery. Yeah, it's going to be great. If she had to put a cap on it for teachers that are coming oh for my coffee. Gosh. Imagine what's going to happen when they start selling <laughs> That's exactly muffins. That's exactly right. Woo. Around the, the line goes around the school. <laughs> yeah. Stay with us, Fox.